Today on Growth Shares, let's analyze and see whether the Ford Mortar Company is a great long-term investment. This analysis is divided into three broad factors, the business, the investments, and the price. Furthermore, these three factors are subdivided into 14 metrics that tell the whole story of the company. Each factor and each metric are given different weight, together adding up to 100% of the overall analysis. Each factor and each metric are then given a grade from 1 to 100, with 1 being the absolute worst, 50 being average, and 100 being the extraordinary. When everything is put together, a final grade will be given, also from 1 to 100. Let's first look at the company as a business. We analyze the company as a business, how the company makes money, is it making money efficiently, and is it growing its business? All those things are what we look for to determine whether the company is actually a good business to own. It doesn't matter if you're looking to buy one share or the whole company. We should see first if the company is even worth analyzing further. As Warren Buffett once said, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. That's why the largest weight, 45%, is given to the business factor. There are eight metrics that measure the business, and we'll analyze them right now. Let's look at the company's growth. Growth is stated as a percentage of how much the company is growing based on its recent past performance and a conservative projection of what it will do in the future. Ford has a growth rate of negative 0.25%, giving it a grade of 26. Next, let's look at the company's business margins. Business margins are stated as a percentage based on whether the company is maximizing its resources to squeeze out as much revenue and profits as it can. Ford has margins of 6.5%, giving it a grade of 45. Let's then look at the company's operations. Operations is stated as a ratio in determining how effectively the company is utilizing its platform relative to its market valuation. Ford has operations of 17, giving it a grade of 29. Let's look at the company's debt utilization. Debt utilization is stated as a ratio based off on how much the company utilizes debt to grow and run its business. Ford has utilization of negative 18.5, giving it a grade of 31. Next, let's look at the company's efficiency. Efficiency is stated as a percentage based on how effective an investment is in the company relative to its business output. Ford has an efficiency of 8%, giving it a grade of 49. Next, let's look at the company's employee growth. Employee growth is stated as a percentage based on the company's socioeconomic contribution, specifically on the jobs it has created over a number of years. Ford has a hiring growth rate of negative 0.65%, giving it a grade of 40. Let's look at the company's sustainability. Sustainability is stated as a ratio based off the company's ESG risk rating to measure its environmental, social, and governance impact, which quantifies the company's social and economic responsibility. Ford has an ESG risk rating of 21, giving it a grade of 46. Lastly, let's look at the company's market dominance. Market dominance is a classification that tells us how dominant that company is in its market and how close that company is being to a monopoly. Ford has primary market dominance, giving it a grade of 97. Together, these metrics give us a business grade of 48. Next, let's look at the company as an investment. We look at the company solely as an investment and how its numbers, opinions on the stock, and what investors and traders are doing with the stock. Is this a good place to put your money? A company can be a great business, but it also has to be attractive enough as an investment to warrant even putting money into it. 35% of the analysis is given to the investment factor. There are five metrics that measure the investment, and we'll dive into them right now. First, let's look at stock performance. Stock performance is stated as a percentage in terms of the average growth of the company's stock price over a multi-year period. Ford has a performance of 0.94%, giving it a grade of 53. Next, let's look at the company's dividend. Dividend is stated as a percentage based on how much the company is paying its shareholders. Ford pays a 4.55% dividend, giving it a grade of 100. Next, let's look at technical analysis. Technical analysis is stated as a percentage based on a combination of various simple moving averages and RSIs to determine when traders are looking for entry and exit points. Ford has a technical range of negative 6%, giving it a range of 49. Let's look at Wall Street analysis. Wall Street analysis is stated as a percentage based on the opinions and research of analysts who have given the stock a buy or better recommendation. Ford has a consensus of 16%, giving it a grade of 18. Let's then look at short interest. Short interest is stated as a percentage based on how many traders and investors are actively betting against a stock's growth. Ford has a short interest of 3%, giving it a grade of 89. Together, these metrics give us an investment grade of 60. 
finally, let's look at the company's price. Price is what most investors look at when deciding whether to invest in a company or not. It's putting everything together to figure out the share price at which we would be willing to buy the company's stock. A company can be a great business and also have an attractive investment, but the stock price needs to be attractive enough to buy. Of course, everything else has to line up as well. 20% of the analysis depends on the company's price. There's only one metric that measures the company's price, and we'll dive into that right now. Let's look at the company's fair value price. Fair value price is stated as a per share price at which I've determined the fair value price of the stock when using a conservative discounted cash flow model as my platform. Ford has a fair value price of $18 per share, giving it a grade of 80. As a recap, here are the scores for every metric. And then we'll add all three factors to get our final grade. Based on my complete analysis of the Ford Motor Company, it has a final grade of 59, which makes it an average long-term investment. My final grade doesn't necessarily mean I'm bullish or bearish on the company. Major news such as earnings or economic data may change some or all of those metrics, and as such, my analysis takes into account a company regardless of industry, sector, or location of business. So you've made it this far. Shoot me an email. I'd love to get in touch with you and talk more. What company should I analyze next? Leave a comment below. And do you agree with today's final score? I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you want me to analyze more companies, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with other investors. And as always, take care of your money.